Okay, so if there is one math skill that everyone needs to understand really, really well, that is percent, because percent is everywhere in our practical everyday life. And actually, there's all different types of percent problems. Some actually involve a little bit of algebra, but to what I'm gonna focus on in this video is just two specific basic percent skills that if you understand these, then you'll have a strong understanding of at least basic percent. And I hope to teach you this in about nine minutes or so. If I run a little bit over, I apologize in advance. Now, some of you might think that you already are certified professionals in the area of percent, and that is fantastic. But I have a question for everyone, and that is, what is the definition of percent? So without looking at this, uh, looking this up, use your own words, tell me what percent is, and put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna teach you these two very important basic percent skills. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so a lot to cover in a short period of time. Let's go ahead and answer the question, what is percent? Okay, so percent is when we, uh, when we compare a number to 100. So in other words, when we have a fraction and the denominator is 100, effectively, that is uh, uh, the technical definition of percent. So if I have 7% and I compare this number 7 to 100, i.e. I put 7 over um, a fraction where 100 is the denominator, that is the definition of percent. Okay, now if you knew this or more or less had this answer, well, I have to give you a nice little happy face and an A plus for your outstanding knowledge of the definition of percent. So let's use this definition or this knowledge to answer this question. So here I have a fraction 37 over 100. What percent does this represent? Now, uh, you might be thinking, well, listen here, this number is being compared to 100, where 100 is the denominator. So if you said, well, is it 37%? Well, you would be right uh, because 37% is the exact answer. But I want to uh, kind of make another observation here is that when we uh, think about percent, we want to think about the total out of or the part out of the whole or the part out of uh, the total. Okay, you can kind of use the whole or a part, however you want to kind of think of that. Let me just kind of show you real quick. So if I have a uh, pizza with four slices, right? So this would be one part out of a total of four parts, okay? So of uh, course, when we're telling, or we're talking about percent, that uh, denominator, the definition of percent is 100, and the numerator would be uh, the uh, part. But in some questions, the denominator is not going to be 100. So I want you to keep that in mind, this part out of the total, this part out of the whole concept, because we're gonna uh, use that in basic percent skill number one. All right, so basic percent skill number one is to solve these type of questions right here. 17 is what percent of 20? Okay, so finding uh, what some number, what percent of some number is out of another number. Very, very common basic percent skill. So let's keep this um, idea in mind, this part out of the whole. And before we answer that question, let's do an easier version of that type of question. And that is this, four is what percent of eight? Okay, so four is what percent of eight? So what is the part here? What we, what we wanna do here is set up a part out of the whole situation. So the part is four and the uh, total or the whole is eight. So we're gonna compare the part to the whole. So that's gonna be four over eight. And four divided by eight, of course, is equal to the fraction one half. And a lot of you are probably already saying, well, that's 50%. You would be right, but what we have here, and again, feel free to follow along with your calculator. If I take four and I divide it by eight, uh, in our calculators, you're gonna come up with 0.5. Now, of course, that's the same as the fraction one half, but what we need to understand when we're working with percent is that we're going to be 
kind of going back and forth uh, between fractions and decimals and percents. So we need to understand how this works. All right, so what we're doing here is we're comparing the part out of the whole, and we have the decimal point 0.5, but we want the percent. In other words, the question is, 4 is what percent of 8? The answer is not 0.5 because 0.5 is not a percent, but we can express 0.5 as a percent. So the way we do that, when we have a decimal and we want to uh, have that decimal expressed as a percent, what we need to do is multiply the decimal by 100. Okay, so we're going to take that decimal, multiply it by 100, and when we do that, 0.5 times 100, again, you can use your calculator, you're going to get the answer, 50%. Now, if you don't have a calculator, the same um, the result of multiplying a number by 100 is simply moving the decimal point over two places to the right. So here we have 0.5. If I take that decimal point and I move it over two places to the right, I'm going to get 50.0%, which of course is 50%. All right, now if you understand that, then we can uh, use that knowledge to answer this question right here. 17 is what percent of 20? So what is the comparison? Well, we're going to compare the part to the whole. And 17 divided by 20 in our calculator is 0.85. Again, that is a decimal. That's not a percent. But we can change that decimal to a percentage by multiplying by 100. So 0.85 times 100 is 85%. Or I, I just simply move that decimal point over two places to the right, and it becomes a percentage. All right, so that is basic percent skill one, and let's go to talk about the second percent skill, but first I'm gonna quickly ask you to hit that subscribe button. I need your support. If you enjoy this kind of content, you know, uh, by you subscribing, it's kind of like fuel to, uh, for me to make more math videos, although I've been on YouTube for years and years. I have thousands of videos on my channel. Every uh, person that subscribed, I personally look at as me gaining a new student. And if you're going to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. All right, so let's talk about basic percent skill number two, and that is finding the percent of a number. So this is a little bit different. So if I ask you 42% of 70 is what? And this is a very common type of problem. So how do we do these type of problems? Well, again, feel free to use your calculator. But what we need to do is for, we kind of need to unwind the percent and we have to go back to a decimal. So remember, when we had a decimal to change a decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100. But if we want to go from a, a percent to a decimal, the way we do that is we divide by 100. So the first thing we need to do to answer a question like this when we want to find a percent of a number is to change the percent back into a decimal. Okay, so 42% uh, uh, divided by 100 is the same thing as 0.42. Okay, so 0.42. Now, there is another way we can think of this. So 42.0%, we can simply just move the decimal point back over two places to the left. All right, so this is just undoing kind of the previous skill that we learned in uh, uh, with the previous problems when we're going from a decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100. If we're going to um, a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100. But uh, the result of doing that is just moving the decimal point over two places to the left. So 42.0% uh, is the same thing as 0.42, two places to the left. And once we have our percent as a decimal, all we need to do is multiply by the number that we want to find the percentage of. So 42% is going to be equal to 42% of 70 is the same thing as 0.42 times 70. And feel free to use your calculator. And when you do this lovely multiplication, you get 29.4. Okay, so two basic percent skills. If you have these down, that's going to be a strong foundation for you to handle a lot of different type of problems. Uh, you know, for other type of percent uh, problems. Now, some of you might be um, asking, well, hey, I want to continue to learn about percent and maybe you just you want to learn more about basic math so let me give you a couple quick suggestions uh, first i have a ton of additional videos on my youtube channel about percent and to include uh, more interesting percent prompts but if you really want to kind of rebuild or uh, relearn basic math i have two great options for you uh, check out these two courses in the description below First is my Math Foundations course. That is a great 
uh, start a course for those of you that just want to learn basic math. But if you want to go beyond basic math, uh, check out my Math Skills Rebuild a Course. And not only do I teach you basic math in there, I teach you a ton of algebra, geometry, trigonometry, probability, statistics. Both of these courses are designed for people who've been away from math for many, many years. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.